So, as uh, we were saying in some other episode, uh, sometimes uh, the shafts uh, do uh, that uh, click clack, that delay when you try to uh, park the car or something like that. Uh, sometimes it's the differential, sometimes you have uh, the joint between the motor and uh, the differential that's uh, that's all broken and uh, at this point I will uh, show you some tricks on how taking it all out uh, very easy. As you can see on the left side I had already uh, took out uh, uh, the arm from, uh, uh, from the wheel and the shaft right here and uh, we will uh, the, the left side we will do it together. I already loosen up this nut right here, but uh, nothing else. The rest we will uh, do it together. Uh, I will uh, explain doing it uh, all you need to know to take out the shafts. Uh, after we will take out the motor and the transmission. Okay, so let's do okay. this. So nice and easy. Let's start from the main nut. We have a big nut right here. We will take it out first. Okay. So that's loosen up. We have uh, this one right here, but uh, as you can see inside, I already loosen up this one, but uh, uh, on the first uh, turn of the nut, you will have to block the, the head here. And after you will do this until you get it to an interesting point, okay? If not, this all will turn together, okay? And uh, right here I have 60 millimeters, okay. You need to know that when you will take out this nut, this will be pretty tough to go to, to get it out, but uh, uh, you have to take a good whack at it right here in his head only one because uh, a lot of them uh, will destroy this so after you will have troubles uh, putting it back so uh, the size of the hammer that I used it's this one right here consider I only I only took one whack at it and it got out so try to do the same because I repeat if you use a little hammer and you uh, I, also, I also use some spray some uh, unlocking spray after we have this one right here same thing I will do it faster so I'm gonna insert I will use the key so You may be wondering why I don't use the good tools because this one has a lot of power even if it's not branded like the others. Okay, this comes out very easily, okay? So at this point we will open these two right here. Okay, the cables from the motor. K1 and 2. On the other side, I already took them out. We will do the same here. Okay, is this one? Uh, these are auto locking uh, bolts so 
Mm, it's better if you use another key to hold it this way, okay? And now it goes one. That's number two. Okay. As I was telling you, they're, they're auto locking. Okay. And there you go. The shaft is already out on that side. And there you have the arm. Uh, so I took out this nut, okay, so theoretically should come out. Okay, I used this the other time. It's a little blocked. Should be no problem for the spray. Okay, I will help it a little. Okay, so that's done. second shaft at this point if you want to take out the discs uh, and the whole body with uh, the shock absorbers you you will have to take out this plastic and right here you have a big nut taking out that uh, disconnecting the brakes you will have to disconnect the handbrake and the surface brake so be careful with the fluid right here taking out this nut this all comes out okay this block right here if you want to separate the shock absorber you have this bolt right here okay okay so we will go for the the electric motor in the transmission right now so this is the part where you learn some secrets the Tweezy on the rear side has uh, a mini chassis and on the lower side the transmission and the motor are attached to this mini chassis that you will separate from the main chassis. So uh, first of all I will get rid of, uh, of this uh, cable right here, of the traction cable. Let me get some light in there. This is a mess. see what I'm talking about this this is the little chassis okay is this one right here okay it goes all the way until here okay so the the separating points are this one is this where it's touching to the to the big chassis the other one is that one over there okay I hope I'm moving the uh, the action cam the way should and after we have these ones right here okay one and two three and four so these four bolts hold the the, the little chassis 
to the big chassis, okay? And on the lower side, this is one of the supports right here. Okay, so we can leave this one. I will, I will use uh, the, the hydraulic uh, platform right there, the one I used to take out the batteries. This time I will use it to take out the motor, so I will uh, put it here into place to hold down the chassis while I'm freeing it from the big chassis. But the thing right here is that on the big motor, we have this support right here, okay? I can show it to you in his... Uh, let's see if I have it. I should have one over here. So, there it is. So consider these three bolts hold the motor. And this one right here holds uh, the support to the big chassis. So we have to separate Uh, this one right here or this three bolts right here because we have to free the motor from the big chassis okay that way it can all go down okay we have another one that's here but this one uh, it's holding it into place to the little chassis so that's okay and we have another one underneath this one that's holding the motor to the little chassis, so that's okay. So the only point we have to free is this one right here. Uh, and after we have the four boards, I will have the, uh, the hydraulic jack under here. That's a, a, a motorcycle hydraulic jack, in, that's his, his real purpose but uh, we will use it uh, to get the job done right here okay so nice and easy let's go